Ever wondered what it would take to turn the barren, red deserts of Mars into a thriving, Earth-like world? Join us as we explore the bold vision of transforming our neighboring planet into humanity's next home. Let's dive into the science and the possibilities that could one day make Mars our second Earth. Let's first understand what this fascinating planet already offers. Mars, often called the Red Planet, is our next door neighbor in the solar system. It's a rocky world covered with iron oxide, giving it its iconic red color. Mars is about half the size of Earth, with a diameter of 6,779 kilometers. Core, likely composed of iron, nickel, and sulfur, similar to Earth's but smaller and cooler. The atmosphere pressure on Mars is just 1% of what we experience on Earth. Mars has only 38% of Earth's gravity. A year on Mars lasts 687 Earth days, almost double the length of a year on our planet. However, Mars has seasons like Earth due to its axial tilt, though they last much longer. And if you're worried about time, a day on Mars, known as a soul, is almost the same length as a day on Earth, lasting 24.6 hours. Similar to Earth, Mars has polar ice caps, though they are much smaller than those on Earth. Currently, Mars has a habitability score of 25 out of 100. To put that into perspective, we would need to increase this score to at least 50 before humans could start living on it. It's a massive undertaking that could take decades, but the possibilities are endless. Now that we've familiarized ourselves with what Mars has to offer, it's time to confront the harsh realities that make the red planet so inhospitable today. Challenge one, the atmosphere. The first and most significant challenge is Mars' atmosphere, or rather, the lack of a suitable one. The Martian atmosphere is composed primarily of carbon dioxide, 95%, with only trace amounts of oxygen and water vapor. It's incredibly thin, exerting just 1% of the pressure we experience here on Earth. Without a pressurized environment, human life as we know it cannot survive. The first step would be to release greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide into the Martian atmosphere to trap heat and raise surface temperatures. These gases could be released from polar ice caps and the planet's surface, where they are believed to be trapped. Massive lasers might be used to heat the surface and release more carbon dioxide, creating a positive feedback loop that would help to further thicken the atmosphere. Challenge 2. The Temperature Mars is an icebox. The average temperature hovers around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit minus 60 degrees Celsius, with lows reaching minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit minus 125 degrees Celsius at the poles during winter. Without the ability to raise these temperatures significantly, the idea of liquid water and consequently life on Mars remains a distant dream. The solution. Our earlier laser solution would also help in increasing the planet's temperature. Alternatively, small-scale nuclear detonations, as suggested by Elon Musk, could rapidly melt the ice caps, releasing trapped CO2 and water vapor, which would contribute to warming the planet. However, this method carries significant risks, including potentially catastrophic consequences for Mars. Challenge 3. Lack of a magnetic field Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a global magnetic field. This means it doesn't have a natural defense against solar winds, which can strip away the atmosphere and expose the surface to dangerous cosmic and solar radiation. Without a magnetic shield, even if we were to create a thicker atmosphere, it could be eroded over time, just as it has been in Mars' past. The solution, creating a magnetic field, one of NASA's most ambitious proposals involves creating an artificial magnetic field around Mars to protect the atmosphere from solar wind erosion. In 2017, NASA scientists suggested placing a magnetic shield at the L1 Lagrange point, a stable position between Mars and the Sun. This shield would generate a magnetic field strong enough to protect Mars from harmful solar radiation, allowing the atmosphere to build up over time. Challenge 4. Gravity Mars' gravity is only 38% of Earth's. While this may sound like fun for jumping around, 
it presents significant health risks for humans. Prolonged exposure to lower gravity can lead to muscle atrophy and bone density loss, severely impacting long-term missions and colonization efforts. The solution, a strict exercise regimen would be the most readily available solution to prevent bone and muscle loss. Research is also ongoing into pharmaceuticals that could help mitigate the effects of low gravity on the human body. Challenge five, radiation. Radiation on Mars is a silent and deadly threat. Mars is bombarded with high levels of cosmic rays and solar radiation. This radiation can increase the risk of cancer, damage tissues, and affect the central nervous system. The solution, radiation protection. Building underground habitats or utilizing Martian lava tubes will offer natural shielding against cosmic rays. Challenge six, water. Water is essential for life, and there is no trace of liquid water on the surface of Mars. The solution, water extraction and management. Drilling into the polar ice caps with automated machinery and extracting liquid water from underground aquifers, which were recently discovered deep under the surface, would provide the building blocks of life. To know more about the recent water discovery on Mars, click on the link in the top right corner. Challenge seven, lack of oxygen. With just 0.13% oxygen on Mars compared to 21% on Earth, even after creating a thick atmosphere, a magnetic field, and protection from radiation, we would not be able to breathe without spacesuits and an oxygen supply. The solution, to address the lack of breathable air, NASA has developed a prototype device called MOXIE, Mars Oxygen Institute Resource Utilization Experiment. MOXIE is designed to extract oxygen from Mars' carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere. If scaled up, this technology could provide enough oxygen for both human consumption and as a component of rocket fuel for the return journey to Earth. Now we have a thick atmosphere, a magnetic field, breathable oxygen, and liquid water. Everything checked off. Now, we can start human colonization for the first time away from our home planet. A rough estimate of the cost to terraform Mars before colonization can start is $100 trillion. Do you think it's worth it to put that much effort and resources into colonizing Mars? Let us know in the comments and subscribe for more such amazing content.